in it, too. At least we got a marriage certificate. But a home I have not got. I've got not... Oh, oh you, you, you... You have sorry. a home. You have a home who if you'd that? only who, who see it. Who is that saying that? Me. Well, all right. Don't you Look, I don't bother you. Hand? I don't bother you. All right, you mind your business. I'll mind my business, all right? It is my business. All right. It's my business, too. Know. I've lost part of my leg, but I have so much to be thankful for. I didn't lose my whole leg. I didn't lose my life. So please, dear, don't mourn what I've lost. Be grateful that I'm still alive, because I am. Mm. I'm grateful. Uh -huh. I love you. You're gonna make it through this one. We're gonna help you make it through. Oh, I'm gonna do better than that, honey. I'm gonna walk again. Papa Bauer, neither he nor Meta said goodbye to me. So we can wait a little longer for supper, nicht wahr? Who wants to eat? Oh, so you and Willie and Meta, you have words, everybody gets mad. Oh. When people get it, where they say so many things they don't mean, you do that all the time, Bertha. I meant everything I said. Ah, oh, nah. Oh, I know, Meta is your daughter and Bill is your son. And you are my daughter. Your daughter-in-law, you mean. I'm part of this family by marriage only. That's the way it's been ever since Bill and I were married. Oh. When you think it over and a little time goes by, ah. Oh. <laughs> Bertha, you know you don't mean what you are saying, and you didn't mean what you said this afternoon. Well, good morning. I have to see Ellen. Oh, well, he's not here. Your number was left as an emergency phone number for him to be contacted. Well, that's because Alan was here late last night working. Yeah, look, I don't have time to listen to your lies. Just tell him I was here and that Hope has been taken to the hospital and she wanted him to know about it. Confessionals are in use. Yeah. Listen, Mike, before we start looking in here, what did Flores say to you about what, what is his plan of attack? Well, more the same. He's got patrol cars in both the old part of the city and the new part of the city. Look, I'll try to keep, keep an eye out for him. It's a proverbial needle in a haystack, Mike. Yeah, I know, but it's the only way. Do you have to make things worse? No. I mean, what are you doing here today, anyway? Are you just trying to make things bad for Holly? No. Look, I mean, holding back on that telephone conversation so that their divorce would go through and then going off to New York with Ed for a whole week, right out in the open. Do you think Holly didn't know about that? You can't blame me. Oh, I do. Oh, yes, I can. And I do blame you. I'm coming here today when everything is so awful for Holly. And I'm talking about Ed. Why did you do it? Do you want to watch her suffer? You know, I wouldn't put that past you.
How could I have destroyed what I loved best and made even the loveliness of it so ugly to you? Not all of it. Not all of it. No? Good. It still shines for me. But you know that. Because you were the girl of my dreams. Most men never find theirs. Nothing is more important to me than your happiness. For years, I had to watch your life from the shadows, watch others surround you, share in your accomplishments, the important events that marked your life. But no one loved you more. No one does now. No one wants more for you than I do. Please know that. I've tried every way I know to show you. I promise. All right. Are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. Thank you for coming to the rescue, son. Yes, sir. But there's nothing to be gained by lowering yourself to the level of a Lewis. I was careless. I was distracted. I should have known better. Philip simply struck when he had the chance. But that doesn't make it right. Alan Michael, I took control of Spalding away from your grandfather. Philip could never have pulled this off if I hadn't let him. I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> Why don't you put me down? Don't you hear what I'm saying? Darling, it's Please. true love done swept you off your feet. It's hey, is there a preacher in the house? Preacher! Billy Lewis! Turn my daughter right side up or I'm going to turn you inside out. Do you get it? <laughs> oh, Henry, you're not playing fair. I can't very well go beating up on my own. Future father-in-law. <laughs> That's what I was counting on. <laughs> How are you, son? I'm guilty, Daddy. Guilty of sin. Now listen to me, Billy. There were pretty crazy things going on. Things got out of hand. But I promise you, I'll have you out of here before you know it. No one, nobody hurts my babies, not while that daddy is still around. I couldn't. If I start reminiscing, I'll feel even more doddering. Alexandra, you are anything but doddering. You are fired, Roger. Fired from the company, from the marriage, from this club, from the entire town, if I can manage it. Blackjack, you got me down here, man. Billy! Oh. All that we bring into the lives of others comes back into our own. Mm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.